I've titled my exhibition Moving Still because I want my work to feel animated, to feel as though actually it might get up and dance around behind my back. But the still aspect, it's not kinetic in any way. I do actually have an allergic reaction to work that's very heavy and lumpen, and that's not what I want for my own pieces. And I try to imbue them with this sense of uncertainty sometimes about how they're going to stand so that they are poised and delicately balanced rather than just sitting and not going to go anywhere. One of the things that's happening with the length of time it takes me to complete a work is that all the works are feeding off of each other. They're all feeding into one another and influencing each of them. So even across the years, there's a huge continuity in the way that I am making and putting things together. I'm a sculptor, materials-led sculptor, and at one point I was almost exclusively working in wood, and that's expanded hugely, and I'll try anything at the moment. Though wood is my first love, I, it's, there's just something really special about it. And it diversified when I got came to a bit of an impasse and thought, I'm really struggling, I need to do something else, I need to push this further, and I couldn't find a way and so I started using clay to just sort of push my way through and uh, that sort of opened up a whole new way of life and uh, so I, I tend to include it in that and bronze in, in everything else that I do as well now. What I really want my work to do is to sort of go do that behind the, the scenes. When my back's turned and it'll just, you know, yeah, you think you're in control. I don't like work that just sits and slumps. I want work to look as though it's on that brink, on that point of going, whoa, you're not really sure what's gonna happen. It's, it's, there's a, an element of uncertainty about it all and I want to lift stuff off the ground so it's poised on very, very small parts. So the work is sort of investigating the ideas around movement but not actually being kinetic. They don't move, um, they sometimes fall over but they don't actually move themselves. But it's that sense that they're, they're on a, you know, they're doing that thing amongst themselves so that's what it's all about.
absolute brilliance of being able to see a lot of work together. It's made me realise a few things about what I do and I, I've, because the work's all together at the moment I can see the connections which I, I had felt for, for a little while that perhaps they were getting a little bit too disparate but actually I can still see those those threads running through each of the works and some of these sculptures have taken many years to, to finish some of these ideas are sort of you know that's that's the oldest one but that was almost finished the most recently and I can still make those connections see the threads running through see the crossover in between the different um, materials and through the different sculptures themselves so yeah, that, that for me has been superb. Just being able to bring those together. Out of the studio, it all looks so different when you're out of the studio. The different light and different, just a different place. The ambience is so different. It's been really good, so it's been a fab opportunity. Loved it.